Sometimes you need a song for when you run out of toilet paper. Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. Mythical Beast, it is Thursday, and on Thursdays, you guys get hangry. So, we've got to do a little grocery shopping today. We pushed the question cart through the aisles, browsing through the nearly limitless amount of stuff that we could buy to fill your question bellies, but you are growing Mythical Beast, and we gotta feed you guys right. So, we head to the produce section to grab some answer apples and some answer oranges, when all of a sudden, we're attacked by an anthropomorphic answer watermelon. It lunges, we dodge, it attacks, shooting seeds from its watermelon mouth, but we matrix move past them in slow motion. Finally, when the watermelon monster is distracted, thank you for distracting him, we jump on it and crush it into delicious melony goodness. We then collect the mouth-watering answer mush, shove it in our question cart, and deliver it to you. So chow down, beasts. Chow down. It's messier than, than I thought it would be. But we're willing to do that for them. Okay, first question. We asked you to ask us questions about shopping. Me? So, yeah, well, we You'd asked ask them. me? We, you asked, we, we asked, asked them. Thus you. asked they. Uh, and the first question comes from Micah Gross, who asks, how do I pick the fastest checkout line? Oh, great question! I, you know, oh. for for years, I would I would be approaching the checkout line, and I'd be like, I need to know how to do this. A system. You need a system. I need to have a system. We so got your system. We finally uh, figured that out. First thing you got to do is you got to look for the smartest cashier. Mm -hmm. Choose a cashier with glasses. Um, Cause they're really good at scanning. You think the glasses make you smarter, huh? Yes, and they make you good at scanning. Okay, all right. Uh, the second thing you wanna do is look at the cashier and, and see is the cashier smiling? Is the cashier friendly? Yeah. Don't go to that cashier, mm -hmm. because nope. that cashier is gonna wanna do the small talky oh, thing yeah. and slow down the line. No, want you that. want to go to the most intimidating, meanest looking cashier yeah. that you can. Surly. Surly, that, like a pirate. Yeah. Like cashier wants but to. But not an eye patch though, because you want death perception. Right. You want them to have plenty of death perception. But if they look like they could choke slam you, yes, line up for that. Just like a wrestler. Okay, but that's just the cashier, because you also have to worry about the people in line. Now a lot of people are just like, well of course, you just don't get behind somebody who's got a lot of stuff in the cart. <laughs> it is not that simple. No, 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 no. It is about what's in the cart, but you know what? You don't even have to look into the cart. Tell him, Rat. Okay. Tell him. The thing that slows down the line is the produce. People get zucchini confused with cucumbers. Oh, what is this? Number one, man. They got to weigh it. Sometimes they got to count things. You know, that is such a time waster. I saw a wheel. At a place. Oh yeah, the they wheel. Were, they break out like, the produce. Well, like, look, number two, kitty, wheel. Egg, egg, pickle. No, I don't no. know. Listen, uh -uh. the thing is, is you want people with processed, prepackaged food because that stuff just boop, 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 moves right through there. <laughs> but you know, so what you're gonna look for is the unhealthiest people. People who just look like they've just let themselves go. Get behind those people. They're getting processed food, and that line will move so fast you won't know what mm. hit you. Chuck slam. Next question. Selena, AKA Linky Poo Stalker, okay. asks, how can I shop when I don't have any money? Okay, well if you don't have any money, you can sometimes surprise yourself with how much stuff you just have in your own home. Things that you forget that you actually own. It's like shopping in your own house. Hey, you know, uh, that makes me think, my neighbor, just started a YouTube channel. Yeah, the YouTube channel. And I think he would be perfect to uh, uh, yeah. give a complete answer to this question. Just judging by his front yard, mm -hmm. uh, I think he's gonna have some insight. Hi, Bevan here. As you can see, I've been shopping uh, the garbage wall separating the third bedroom from the rest of the house fell yesterday, opening up an entire new world of shopping to me, rediscovering items that I can experience again for the first time. First thing I uncovered was this canned whole chicken. The expiration date is 1999, uh, which is fine because like, um, like fine wine, canned whole chickens uh, improve with age. Uh, and then, of course, what do I, what do I wash down uh, my whole canned chickens with? But uh, 
a bulk purchase beverage. Under the bed, I have a stockpile of half drunken uh, Gatorades, and each one has been sampled for our quality assurance. Speaking of which, I'll, I'll uh, sample one right now because it's kind of thirsty. Maybe this dark one. I think that's urine. Ah. Oh, well look there, it's, it's my half brother Donnie. Uh, say hello, Donnie. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you were under there. Uh, I thought you moved out in, in uh, 09. Uh, next, I made my way into the uh, guest bathroom and found these amazing pair of boots. Uh, they were a real steal. Um, well, technically, it's only uh, one boot, and uh, but technically, it also was a, an, an actual steal. Uh, I stole them from my neighbor when I was living in his attic. Uh, without his knowledge or consent. And just when I thought I was all shopped out, I, I dug up the carcass of my favorite cat, Snowball. I just had to, to dig through 85 other live cats to get to it. Oh. What, what'd you find, Donnie? Oh, uh, they're hungry, be careful. The cat's going to the bathroom, right in the back of my portrait. Oh, how awful. You know, he mentioned that he was living in his neighbor's attic. You think that's your attic? No, because that was me playing a character. <laughs> Chase Hinton asks, what do you do if you can't reach something on the shelf? Uh, I don't understand the question. What, what do you, like if you're trying to, if something's at the top shelf, you can't reach it, what do you do? There are shelves that have things on them that you can't reach. This is a thing? This happens? Yeah. Uh, I mean, just think about it, like a really high shelf. I'm thinking about it. I cannot picture it. That has literally never happened to me. Because I'm so tall. What? Let's do a song for when. Gary Rarden. Let's do it. Rarden, G-Funk 0831. Oh, 0831. Says That's the best G-Funk. That he needs a hashtag song for when you run out of toilet paper. That can be arranged. This is a song for when you run out of toilet paper. I've been on this john for way too long, playing Candy Crush before my legs fall. Completely asleep, I better finish up and flush. So without even looking, I reach over to grab a few TP squares. But to my utter horror, there ain't no more squares there I wonder if it would hurt If I use the cardboard paper roll I'm pretty sure it'd do the job But would it make it down the bowl? And maybe the toilet brush could work But those bristles look a little scary And what about that embroidered towel? I got, when I got married, she would never forgive me So I'm gonna let it try Just let it be I'm gonna let it try Like I'm a dog on a leash I'm gonna let it try chimpanzee I see a curling iron and some matches but I can't find cotton balls there's nail clippers and a plunger and a poster of Lionel Richie on the wall he would never forgive me so I'm gonna let it dry nobody has to know gonna let it a buffalo I'm gonna let it dry like a bird in flight I'm gonna let it dry I'll 
I'll take a shower tonight I'm gonna let it dry I'll take a shower tonight I'm gonna let it dry I'll take a shower tonight Hey, we want to write more songs for when, and of course we want to get those ideas from you, so use hashtag song for when and let us know any situation. <laughs> any situation or need where a song could be helpful. Yes, any situation. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing this video with your friends and family. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Ben from Mooseman, Saskatchewan, Canada, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Submit your ideas for the Wheel of Mythicality using hashtag GMM Wheel. You submit it, we might do it. In the episode with it. Click through to Good Mythical More. We're gonna open your mail and test out the egg extractor. You push down on it here and the egg plops out and that's the theme song. And Red forgets how to use a computer. Here you go, man. I got this Whoa! for you. It's a computer. What is that, a mouth? Well, uh, it's a computer. What do you put in there? It's uh, data, man. Pickled pig's feet, apparently. <laughs> man, you've been feeding this thing well. Look at that. It's flexible. Petting. No, man, you, you type on it. He's and got like a silverback. Open it. Is it open. a gorilla? You type in the mouth. It's a gorilla that's just a mouth. Open the mouth. Put Look your at hands. That. Put your hands on the tongue. Hey, Mr. Gorilla. Listen to, listen. How'd you get out of the zoo? Put your, listen, listen, listen. Oh, I'm so proud of you and your new pet. Come to Papa, my egg face. <laughs> oh. <laughs>